Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? And today, per usual, most always, I'm here to talk some books. So let's get into this thing, shall we? So I'm going to be recommending, I guess, or discussing some books, um, or black paranormal books that center witches. And we're going to start with the Georgia Arcana series by Drea Anderson. This is a three book series that centers uh, cousins. They return to the small town in Georgia. Um, they got to break a family curse. They got to figure out what happened to the grandma who passed on. It's it's a lot going on with this series. But if you love uh, just small town, witches, different paranormals, definitely add this one to your reading list. Then we have Bodine. Barbecue and Hoodoo by Reggie Dupree. This is a three book series that revolves around one female character. Uh, she also has to break like a family curse. Um, she's being chased uh, because of the power that she has or that is within her family. She's being like chased by different paranormals around this little small town. I think it's called Hoodoo, Texas. There's a lot going on within this uh series i it's three books but i only read books one and two um she had a prequel and i think what happened was she included the prequel with the first book it it, 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 it i had some confusion going on but it's a good series so far i liked it and what really drew me to the series the main female character is older um she's 40 plus so yeah, and it kind of like teeters between paranormal romance and uh, women's fiction. Definitely um, check this out. <clears throat> and then we have The Castleton Sisters by Kaite. Uh, right now, only one book. Uh, it is novelette, novella length. Um, again, small town, three sisters. Um, right now, this is kind of like teeters on paranormal, not more teeters on women's fiction but it is paranormal romance because i think one of the sisters finds a maid is some tragedy tragedy goes on in the book the sisters are also being betrayed by a, a aunt it's 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 it's, um, it's messy okay very messy story this is one of the books i think me and tama no we talked about this book on the podcast brazenly shady good book um, I do believe we both agreed that we just felt like the book should have been like a little bit, not a little bit, but longer, you know, just to give us a more well-rounded uh, story in general and give us a, a, a better, uh, ex you know, explanation of the characters and their black backstory and, you know, the sisters and the whole family of witches and stuff like that. But it's good, especially if you are looking for something, you know, in between long reads. And you love like small towns which is definitely check out this book and then we have the witches of salix point by noel bella a uh, three book series revolves around two witches uh again small town in georgia georgia must be the hot spot of you know bad bitches and witches because like what <laughs> Woo. okay but Anyway, this is a good series. I read books one and two. I have to catch up and read um, book three. But basically, it revolves around these two uh, women. Um, they, they're they in this small town. There's a lot going on in this small town. I think it kind of like has kind of like, you know, uh, suspense vibes as well. Um, they discover their witches. They're coming into their witches, witching power. They also um, find, you know, their mates within the series. Good series. If you, again, small towns, black witches, get on it. Get on it, okay? And last but not least, we have the Elemental Love series by Celestine Martin. Uh, the third book, uh, I think it's called Deja Brew, will be coming out in October. But um, I did read book one and two, and I high key enjoyed uh, the first book better than the second book. But both books are good. These are paranormal, contemporary paranormal um, romance series. We have these, you know, both women within a series who find their uh, 
you know, their romances um, within the books. You know, they're going through their different issues or whatever. But for the most part, I like this series. And um, again, small towns, I think, no, not small towns. Second book, I think she was in the Jersey Shore, which you, I mean, some of them towns you can call small or whatever. But either way, um, you know small towns or you know cities or whatever black witches definitely a series to check out and, and that is going to be it for me um what kind of like gave me inspiration for this for doing this video is was that i was uh in a live uh last saturday night uh with heather over at uh h uh book tubes and we were talking about paranormal uh books i had such a good time uh, in at live and again I have to thank Heather again for inviting me I, I was just like truly excited just to be there um, especially with me coming back on uh, YouTube booktube for a while so you know after not being here for a long while so it was really nice and I appreciate her inviting me that that was really sweet so thank you again Heather um, and and I just want to like dip back into getting in more uh, into um, paranormal romance books, romance fantasy, romance suspense, shit, uh, thrillers, mystery thrillers and suspenses. I am starting to get burnt out um, for reading so many uh, contemporary uh, straight, just contemporary romance books. Like it is literally... Um, tire me um out and i could just feel the burnout coming i could just feel me getting tired of um reading um so i have to find some other books and you know and when i was going back because some of these books i've read a while back so you know the mentals child the mentals um but you know while i was looking up these books you know trying to remember them or you know just give like a refer give myself a refresher on uh what was going on with the books um you know, i was coming across some other series and child yeah my my kindle tbr is my kid kindle tbr list is out of control right now so i am just like especially kindle unlimited thank god for kindle unlimited um it's out of control and i'm very excited for what i grabbed and once i get these arcs out of the way it's 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 over it's over for him. It's over for him because I'm in there. But um, <laughs> either way, if you've gotten this far, thank you so much for uh, watching. Um, definitely check uh, check out some of these books. They're, you know, really, really good. And um, that is it for me. Um, until the next one. Later days. Bye.